So I went out looking for this noise again. Let's go to AM. That noise. And I swung the Yagi around on uh, 15 meters. And I found it peaked around 220 some odd degrees. So what I did was I, I moved it um, a little bit counterclockwise and a little bit clockwise. And I got 194 and 260 degrees where the signal came down from S9 to S7. So I took the two numbers together, divided them by two, came to 228 degrees. So I was pretty confident I knew about where it was. So I went over here to Google Maps, Google Earth, I should say, and I'm doing a um, measurement here, a line measurement, which gives you heading. So I draw a line here. <clears throat> so let's draw a line. Let's go up to 228 degrees, right about there. Okay, so this gave me a point at which to kind of look from my house, where to drive, and kind of look for the poles in that direction. At first, I drove around with the um, with the uh, Yagi, uh, the seven element uh, handheld uh, Yagi for use for satellite, portable satellite work, with my uh, VX7 Yesu radio on AM at 432 megahertz, and I really couldn't find anything in this in this area around here. And even, we even drove around uh, all you know, up Lake Hughes Road, and out to the post office you know, this direction, we drove all around through all the little neighborhoods over here, and I really couldn't find anything. So um, I came home, uh, that's when I did this measurement and, to get an idea of where to go, and uh, I reset my Yagi for 130, I'm sorry, for 144 megahertz. And uh, then I was able to start getting some readings. When we came down this road here, right about here, it pointed this direction. I mean, like right up this direction. So um, we came up here and I held it out the, out the window and it got really strong right about here. Um, and uh, so we kept driving, driving around a little more, drove around over here and it was, it was really strong right over here. So I checked these poles out and all these poles came back here and they started checking these poles out. Kept pointing to this one right over here. Um, there's a pole right here by this water tank right here. There's the pole right there, right there, that guy. So I walked over there and sure enough, that is the one. So I reset the Yagi for 450 megahertz or 432 megahertz and sure enough, I mean, it is right there at top of that guy. Then I took the uh, parabolic ultrasonic dish out and sure enough, west phase. So the way the lines come, the lines come up the hill up like this way. So there's uh, three lines, uh, the west phase, the center and the east phase and the west phase lightning arrestor, I was able to pinpoint that. But the cool thing is, how close is that? So this is my, this is the heading I came up with, and right here is the pole, that guy. So how far off was I? Let's take that. So 200, I was eight degrees off, that's 220 degrees. So yeah, it's not too bad. Definitely a, definitely a good way of getting you in the ballpark. Now, that only shows you the strongest interference. And I've lately I've been finding I've been having multiple power poles at the same time. Um, however, I feel pretty confident this is the last one at the moment because like I said, we already drove. We drove all the way out to um, uh, the, oh, let's see here. Where do we drive? Oh, all the way out to here, which is about a mile up the road. And we drove about a mile up the road up here and then we drove a, a circuit through every single road all the way through here and looked at every single pole including down lake hughes road here and couldn't hear anything this is the only one i could find right now so i knocked on my neighbor's door over here his uh, luckily his son went to went to grade school with our daughter so we uh, knew him and i explained the situation walked him over let him listen to the arcing and had him call, gave him the number and all the information and what to say, and had him call Cell Cal Edison and report it. And uh, this home right here is vacant. It's been used for Airbnb right now. So it's very possible whoever was last renting this home for Airbnb might have also might have called and made an anonymous call reporting that this power pole over here was making noise. Um, and uh, they might have been very descriptive saying it was uh, appeared to be coming from the uh, uh, from the west side uh, line above the transformer, but not the transformer. Um, 
and um, so uh, because uh, why why would I just not call and leave my name? Because Sal Cadison ignores me now because I have reported how many times have I reported bad power poles? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. I have a a map here, an interactive map. Um, let's go to my QRZ page and scroll down. Here's a map. And this is not even 100% up to date. I got to add. So here's my list of, of, of various power poles and dates that I've had to report that have been arcing. So we zoom out here. These are all the various power poles that have had bad lightning. Every single case has been a bad lightning arrestor. Uh, these lightning arresters, um, I'll have to put a photo, see if I can insert a photo into this video. These lightning arresters are garbage. They keep arcing and they generate this. Let's, let's hang on, go to AM or an AM. This noise, uh, this is S9 plus, and I'm not even pointed at it. If I point the antenna at this, let's just do that. Let's go here, let's move this to 220 degrees, right about there, let that spin around, and watch this. Antenna's at 300. There's, there's no preamps on. There's a 20 over S9 noise level. There we go. 224 degrees, 20 over S9. Well, 10, that's 10 over S9. It varies a little bit. 10 to 15 over S9. Um, can't use the radio at all. So anyways, all of these every single one of these points. And some of them have been multiple. Some of them have been uh, multiple lightning arresters on each pole. Uh, they can have up to three on one per phase. So um, I gotta add uh, this one, and there's a couple more I have to add on here. So, so far since June 24th, there's been one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. This is the 12th pole since June 24th, two months, 12 poles in two months. Summer comes, these things start failing left and right. Quite literally, because, well, left and right phase. Anyways, um, Cell Cowdison, these lightning arresters suck. Okay, so we're hunting down more massive RFI. And I was having a hard time finding it at 450 megahertz, so I switched the antenna around to 144 megahertz. And I drove around. First thing I did was I spun my Step IR DB36, which is a 4 element Yagi 21 megahertz, around in a circle and found out what direction the signal was mostly coming from. And it was an S9 noise level of about 220 degrees. So then I moved it side to side to drop the signal down off the sides of the lobe, off the main lobe of the beam to where it was an S7. And it came out where I added those two angles together to write it 228 degrees. So I drew a line on the map on Google Maps or Google Earth and I had a direction to go. Turns out it's within about a degree what we found. So with my handheld radio at 144 megahertz on AM and the Yagi configured for 144 megahertz, this is where we came to. And you can see if I turn up the volume here, you can hear the arcing, the noise. There. So I swing around, falls off, goes away. There. And it's this pole right over here. What I'll do now is I'll convert this over to 450 megahertz to get even narrower or closer. Move the coax over to the 450 megahertz portion of the antenna. Switch the radio. Four thirty-six. Now let's go up to it. Starting here now. Gone. Every direction except right there. So now I'm going to grab the uh, ultrasonic pair 
fireball dish. We'll see if we can pinpoint what the problem is on there. All right, so now we have the uh, parabolic ultrasonic dish and we're gonna put it on, that's the west phase lightning arrester. If I go over to the east, it's clean. That's the west. You hear the arcing? Everywhere else it's clean. Right back on the lightning arrester. So that's the problem.